Hi, I am Kishore Dasari of AMA Technologies. We are so pleased to announce that we are extending our portfolio to support the Hexagon DSP of uh, Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon SOC to our wrapped prototyping system called AMA Designer. AMA Designer is instrumental in bringing the innovative products to market to our customers over the decade. AMA Designer is a drag and drop tool where you can drag and drop the audio and speech related modules, design the system and deploy the product. It's a five stage development, simply you can drag and drop and then uh, connect the modules together, create your system, generate the code, validate the system, tune on the fly and deploy the product. You need not write a single line of the code for audio and speech applications, AMA Designer will take care of it automatically. AMA Designer contains the repository of the modules, so it has the multiband parametric EQs, graphic EQs, dynamic range control modules, meters, delays, filters, special effects like auto ducker module, speed dependent EQs, frequency domain modules. We also have speech uh, uh, enhancement modules like uh, acoustic cancellation, microphone beamforming, comfort noise generator, wind noise reduction, acoustic feedback cancellation and so on. Benefits to our OEM and ODMs by uh, incorporating the AMA designer to your products, we can offload the audio and speech processing so that we can reduce the power consumption of the smart device or, uh, or any SOC. We can reduce the time to market and so that the customer can go to the market quickly. We can reduce the development uh, cost as well as the risk of the projects. AMA designer with all these audio and speech processing can be deployed into your products like smart devices and uh, automotive uh, applications in vehicle entertainment where we can offload complete code into the DSP. We can also deploy the products for video conferencing where our speech post processing can be offloaded to the DSP, gaming consoles, wearables, IOTs and so on. Let's have a quick look at the demo. We are going to use Snapdragon 810 development board today. So here is the board. So it's already flashed with the Android OS. So here is the AMA designer where uh, we have the, all the modules. Basically we can drag and drop the modules. Modules are uh, packed into different uh, groups, so standard float, most of the, the standard modules that required for the audio processing will be present here. So some advanced modules here, standard plus, and uh, common modules which are uh, independent of the data types. Let's create a simple system, how it works. I would like to do the audio processing uh, with the stereo. Let's uh, drag the module of the to stereo, eventually you want to do the mono. Let us also drag the, the second order filter so that we can play around with the filter. So here is the second order filter. So let's try and drop here and uh, wire them up together. So let's connect the left channel here, right channel here, and to the S5 module, into the mono, and eventually to the, the output. So we can use this tool to generate the code. So it's already connected to the hexagon DSP target. So let us uh, generate the code. The code will be generated in the targets in Qualcomm. So Qualcomm provides the SDK to develop the audio processing. So here is the, the Eclipse comes from the hexagon SDK. So let's uh, uh, build the project. So let's build it. So meantime, let's open the, so build is finished. Let's open the, uh, the CLS shell where we can basically push this SO uh, to the hardware and then eventually run from there. So let's open the ADB shell, ADB group. Okay, so ADB remote. Yeah, this is success. So we have created this uh, shared object. We need to push this into the, the hardware. So let us uh, push it to the, the hardware. So we are uh, pushing this to the, the Snapdragon 810 and other board. So successful. So now uh, let's navigate to the, uh, to the device, ADB shell. So now we get to the data folder. Now we the data. Now uh, we created this uh, audio API. So let's run it. So that whatever you run on the on the smart device will uh, go through this audio processing that we just created. So let me run this also. Okay, it is finished. Now come to the uh, development board. So here is the development board. So let's open, this is one of our uh, 
small application which is server to communicate from the PC to the target. So now, so let's hope in the one of the audio player comes with the, the Android default OS. Okay, here it goes. Let's open one of the album and then let's say. So we can basically communicate from here and then actually tune uh, 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 on the fly. So we need to provide the IP address of the, the device. Currently the device is connected to the, this IP address. So let's uh, go to the tuning mode. So like this we can uh, easily create the, the multiple uh, layouts and then uh, generate the code and then build in the, the, the Eclipse that provided by the Hexagon SDK and eventually uh, flash onto the device. So the image will also provide some of the different designs. We can actually have a look at them. I'm going to save it. So let's have a first suppose one to the three-way crossover. We already created this uh, audio system and then you can basically generate the code and then follow the same steps that we follow, like build it and then uh, uh, push into the, the hardware. Same way we have the, some more uh, examples, let us create it here. For example, the automotive framework that we need the audio process for the automotive uh, uh, application. Then you can create it or we do also provide a uh, uh, couple of the examples as well. So see here the multiple channel processing and all, uh, you can process for the, the multiple channels as well. Okay, so like that you can create uh, uh, a number of the layouts and then play around it and then tune it on the fly and eventually uh, dump without no time. This way you can reduce a lot of the time in the development cost as well as well as the risk of the project.